All right, I got a couple of uh, BNK sound meters. This is what we're using for uh, testing suppressors. Uh, these are made in Germany. The original German name right there, I'm not going to embarrass myself and try to pronounce it, but these are the type 2209. And uh, they're really pretty simple to use once you understand it. You can uh, test the batteries. You'll see it's up. Uh, the battery power is good. Usually let it sit 5-10 minutes and warm up. And then you can calibrate it. Usually turn it to the fast position right here. And then using the type 4231, this is a calibrator. You put this on top of the microphone. You can hit the uh, on button right there. You can hear a tone. Put it on top and it puts out 94 decibels. You can hit add 20 by holding this down at the same time. It's a little tricky to do that but that calibrates it. Um, there's uh, two different, this is a quarter inch and this is a half inch uh, adapter for the mic heads. So we've got two of them. One we use uh, one meter uh, from the gunshot and that needs to be 1.6 meters off the ground or 5.25 feet above the ground. And this one, we're, that's this one and this one we're using at the shooter's ear which is 15 centimeters from the shooter's ear usually on the left side. The right side a lot of times be louder on like an AR-15 because of the uh, ejection noise off the port so um, that's just a super quick look. They run about five grand each. Uh, they're, they're some of the few meters that will actually measure the impulse of a gunshot. Usually the ones you see people are using look like karaoke mics or from um, Radio Shack or something like that, they will not work. Uh, it's not truly measuring it. So uh, this is what you need to do the real stuff. There's only a couple of them out there that can measure the gunshot accurately, and this is them. All right, take care.